Hey YouTube, it's me again. I know it's been a while since I posted anything, but uh, I got a couple of boxes today, and um, I have been getting shipments in pretty regularly, um, but I haven't really been sort of filming them. I had a couple of things come in that didn't turn out quite right, so I didn't upload those, and then I've just been kind of lazy and <clears throat> unable to sort of keep myself from opening things as soon as I get them delivered. So uh, a lot of times I have to have stuff delivered at work um, because only USPS delivers to our to my apartment, not UPS or FedEx. So anything that comes from UPS gets well, or anything that comes from uh, FedEx or US or uh, UPS has to go to my office. So I oftentimes get stuff delivered there, and then I have to stare at it all day, and I can't handle it. Anyway, so we got two boxes here. Uh, this one is a redirect, I believe. Um, from Pipes and Cigars. So we'll go ahead and crack that guy open. This one I am kind of excited about because it was the um, International Pipe Smoking Day um, sort of grab box that they had. So it's got a pipe in it and some kit, um, as well as some tobacco, which is always good. I don't think I've ever said no to, to free tobacco. Well, not free tobacco, but to, to new tobacco, we'll say. If I can cut this thing open without cutting my fingers off. Okay, so packing some tins. We have I'm gonna call this chow, even though it's probably not chow, it's probably more like C-A-O or C-O, but chow black. I'll read you the tin description. A deep base of rich black Cavendish tobaccos are complemented by a touch of flu-cured Virginias and golden Cavendish, then topped with a sweet, luxuriant recipe of black raspberry and dark chocolate flavors. The perfect combination of richness, aroma, and balance. Um, I've been trying a lot of aromatics lately through um, seeing things that I am interested in and then just have them happening to be aromatics, so curious about this. So I'll go ahead and put that off to the side here. Also got a tin of Stanwell's fruit and vanilla, which I'm also told. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I'm also told is very good, um, or at least well liked. Special mixture of ready rubbed Virginias, Burley, Black Cavendish, and Broadcut Virginia enhanced with an with a unique top flavor of exotic fruit. Fine liqueurs and sweet vanilla. Lots of typos in that. Uh, of an exotics fruit. Um, anyway, seeing well, fruit and vanilla. So I'd be curious to try that and smell that. Uh, that we're going to set off to the side. Pipe cleaners, because every band's best friend is a pipe cleaner. Um, oh, right. This is a Rockwell pipe tool that I saw. Got like a lanyard. That's cool. So, I guess that's like a reamer and a pick and a corkscrew, which is very loose. So, we'll have to tighten that screw up. And a taper. Cool. And what it looks to be a beer bottle opener. So sort of like an, an everyman tool, which I'm thrilled to have because I've been opening bottles by whacking them onto the table. So that's good. Old Shenandoah bootlegged pipe tobacco. There's that, you can see. Um, I've never tried this either. These are all new to me. When you see something for 50, for 60 bucks and it's, it's full of things you've never tried, you kind of have to go for it. Uh, Old Shenandoah Bootlegged is a welcome addition to this series of wonderfully aromatic, bite-free pipe tobaccos. Yeah, they're, they're giving me a lot of credit because they, they think that I can smoke this without burning myself, but I'll show them. Um, soft, nutty burleys are blended with a good portion of silky black Cavendish and accented by the addition of some lemon Virginia. So these are all basically burley Cavendish Virginia blends of different styles, so that's interesting. Uh, the superb aroma comes from a not-too-sweet blend of subtle fruit and warm confectionery flavors. Relax and enjoy. So I've got fruit, fruit, and fruit. Fruity Virginia Cavendish Burley blends. Warm, 
more aromatic. A pouch of C'est Vie French Vanilla Pop Tobacco. Mild, creamy, and aromatic Cavendish. Again with the Cavendish. Uh, mingles with flu-cured tobaccos, topped with a de delicious helping of vanilla. So basically, it's almost all fruit and vanilla, um, which is fine, because, <clears throat> you know, I'll try anything once. Erin uh, Gobrach, tobacco, Irish whiskey. Sorry about that. Anyway, my Irish is a little incorrect. Um, <clears throat> a brilliant mixture of flu-cured Virginias, toasted white burleys, Sweet black Cavendish, and spiked with aged Irish whiskey, refined and mellow, with an inviting aroma. This will be sort of St. Patrick's Day. -y. Do I have another one in here? I think I might. Ooh, proper English. John Bull Royal English. See, I like English blends, so this will be good. A proper English, combining bright Virginias and Burleys with a hint of black Cavendish and smoky Latakia. A non-aromatic. There you go. That's exciting, because, you know, they've all been aromatics for the last 15 minutes. I'm not sure what this is. It appears to be some kind of table napkin. But it's plaid. I like plaid, so goes with the whole mountain man thing. Oh, it's a tobacco pouch. It's a sort of pseudo like canvas pipes and cigars branded tobacco pouch. I'd probably never use that. Ah, but now the Coupe de Grace. Or Coupe de Tar. I said Coupe de Grace. I'm, that's there's my French for you. My French is also very wrong. In addition to my poor Irish accent and my poor Irish dialect. I also have a terrible French dialect uh, and a, a crummy Spanish dialect and um, kind of weak Brazilian, which I very rarely ever tried out except at parties. This is going to be one of those things where I'm going to be surprised because this pipe is bigger than I imagined by like a lot. Whoa! That, that's a big bowl for me. I mean, like, it's got a really deep chamber. Like, that's going to get some English blends. That's handsome. Wow. It's got a nice, like, burgundy, which I love, clearly, burgundy finish. Sort of a nameless... That's exactly what it is. Cheap, nameless, nameless briar pipe. Not terribly unattractive. Nice, strong... Stem. Straight draw. You can see the draft hole. That's good. So there's that guy. We'll go ahead and put him back together because if we don't put it back together, I'll never break it. There we go. Good draw. I'm really curious about I'm really excited. I was expecting this to be like mm, because it was, you know, a throw-in pipe. I expected it to be cheaper and smaller and less. But this is good. I love saddle bits. I love this sort of old-style pipe. I'm fond of that. So I'll put that aside as well. That's good. I'm glad that that's, that, that turned out. Woohoo! All right. That was not what I expected it to be. I'm kind of glad with the pee, with the pee, with grab bag stuff, you know, you automatically assume, or at least I do, usually just assume that everything's going to be of an inf not inferior quality, but if you're getting a pipe and all this tobacco and a pipe tool for 50 bucks or 60 bucks, part of you has to wonder, is the quality of this thing going to be worth a damn? But now, for this guy, I've been so excited. I've been, like, um, very patiently hemming and hawing and deciding about this pipe for weeks. Months, really. I couldn't decide if I liked the pipe. I have a pipe of a similar shape. I couldn't decide if I liked it, or if I didn't like it, or if I wanted it, or I didn't want it. And if it was too much to spend on a pipe, and after all, this is me I'm treating, right? And I finally decided, because I had come into a little extra um, money through um, a giveaway. Not really a giveaway. It's sort of like this raffle thing that my job does, where um, 
you get points which you can convert to gift cards of type. Um, so I converted into some Amazon gift cards and purchased, whoop, packing peanuts everywhere, and purchased this guy. Clean up some of my mess here. Purchased this guy the other day, um, and I was expecting to get it delivered ten within ten business days of my order, and it came today, way ahead of schedule. It is a Peterson of Dublin. You can see if you look at the back, it is a Peterson of Dublin. It's a pipe that I uh, I like Petersons. I have a lot of Petersons, and um, they're one of my favorites. I just love the classic style of them. And we're gonna open this guy. You can see here, it's a Peterson Lestrade Smooth of the Sherlock Holmes line. So anybody that's seen this pipeline before, pipeline, did I say pipeline? This line of pipes before, knows what I'm talking about. That's interesting. The stem was in the box, separate of the pipe itself. That's weird. Never seen that one before, but you know, better that than, it, than the tenon getting broken. Ooh, that is a big bowl. Another big bowl. I got this specifically because um, I wanted a blend that I could really experience Virginia's with. And, um, and not Virginia, sorry, English blends with. All my bowls are kind of, all the bowls in my pipes are kind of smallish. And I wanted something that I could really get an English blend in and have it really open up. And by God, I think... Are we good? Are we still crooked? I think that is going to do it. Nice, beautiful grain. Nice, beautiful stain. Nice big bowl. Nice grip. Good draw. I'm not sure. I've never had a P-lip. Um, so I don't know how the P-lip is going to turn out. Um, but I am super curious. Got the nice silver banded. I don't know if you'll be able to see that with the Sherlock Holmes insignia. We'll go ahead and move that in and out because I can't see what I'm filming. Nice pipe. Very big. Very pretty. Very very light. I'm surprised with how light this is, actually. I was expecting it to be kind of... A kind of a chunk, but that's that's yeah, that's my new that's my new toy. I'm super excited about this. This is way see, I had, like I said, I had one. Are you over here? Yes. So I had one in a similar shape, which I like. Okay, um, that nice little apple bowl, but it, it it just doesn't let them open up very well. So you can obviously see there's a pretty chiefly big difference. In the bowl size, you could probably put this bowl inside this bowl. I'm really excited. Um, so I will, uh, I'm hopefully going to light these up, light this guy up tonight. I may smoke, smoke, uh, smoke, I may smoke a little English blend in both of these because they're both fairly big bowls and I'm really excited about it. So nice big Virginia, or sorry, light, nice big English blend size bowls, um, two new pipes, which is anything, you know, anything with its one pipe or more is great. So, I'm, I'm thrilled. There's a little, I would call it oxidation, but the silver band needs polished, which I'll, I'll polish that with some of the wax that I have, and it'll be right as rain. But, there you go. My new, my, uh, my Friday, well, Monday, Yabo, for the week. Um, like I said, I've been absent a little bit um, from the channel. I haven't really up had a chance to upload anything lately. The reason for that is I ordered a pipe and filmed a video for it, and then there were some problems with it, and then I, the guy offered to replace it, gave me a second one. There were there were some not really, not any, no problems with it, but then I filmed the video for the unboxing and. There was a problem with the file, and it was just this big mess. Anyway, long story short, I bought a pipe from Davidson Pipes. And I don't know if you've, if anybody is familiar, just keep doing the, the back bend with Davidson Pipes. Davidson Pipes makes fantasy pipes, specifically the Gandalf pipe. 
Um, this is a briar pipe with a cherry stem. I had ordered one of these, um, and it came and there were some issues, some pretty hefty issues. Stain coming off um, of the bowl in my hand while I was smoking it, um, the stem um, was split clean down the middle, which this one is not. The stain does not come off. It's much better. I'm much happier with this one. The original I was disappointed with, and I contacted the guy. He was really, really super nice, really disappointed. May, had sent me this really nice long letter that I was that I read on video that didn't pan out. But anyway, the, sent me this really nice letter with a really amazing amount of content. Um, explained all the things, explained why the th there were some changes. Um, very quickly shipped me out a replacement. It was a great replacement. I'm very happy with it. It smokes great. Um, it smokes exactly for what I wanted it for. I wanted it for, because um, I'm a fan of the Lord of the Rings and I'm a fan of The Hobbit. I wanted a pipe to sort of embody that. It does that. It smokes aromatics like a dream. It gets a little hot, but it'll get better once the cake builds up a little bit. Either way, still very thrilled with it. Um, hopefully, as things go along... I will continue to be putting up videos. Um, like I said, life just got in the way, and I had to have another chance to put anything out. So, new pipes, new tobacco, lots of stuff. I'm planning on doing some reviews of a couple of different uh, tobaccos that I picked up. I purchased the entire line of Suge Seat for the Four Seasons uh, tobaccos, which are I'm in the process of sort of tasting and experiencing. I purchased the entire line of. Um, Bjarn Viking um, pipes, pipe tobaccos, so the uh, Odin's Wind, the St. Olaf, Eric the Red, and um, William the Conqueror. Purchased all of those, enjoyed them, uh, or going to enjoy those as I go along. They came a little dry, so I'm rehydrating those. Um, so yeah, I've just been doing a lot with pipes and tobacco, I just haven't had a chance to film it. Um, I have a lot of plans on reviews for this stuff, I have a lot of plans on things I want to try, I want to do, I want to get out there, so... Hopefully, you guys will keep watching. I'll still get to keep uploading, and uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, this has been my like mega yabo catch-up video. Um, hopefully, I'll get another video out here in the next couple of weeks after I've had a chance to try some of these and review them. And I'd also like to do a sort of matches... Um, I'm looking at you matches. Uh, 860 sort of style videos as well. Just sort of some, you know... Like a Sunday smoke or a, like a like a sort of a Saturday ramble kind of thing. He always does one on um, Friday with his Friday Savinelli, um, or on Saturday with his Rick Black Mortar pipe, <laughs> sitting there sort of telling stories from his life. And I've always found that sort of intriguing. Of course, he's lived a much more interesting life than I have. But anyway, um, I'd like to do something like that and get some of those things out there for you guys to watch and hopefully uh, enjoy. So at any rate, uh, this is probably going on way too long. So. I'll let you guys get back to your lives. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a great evening.